Good morning and welcome to our Tuesday morning Bible study at the First Baptist Church of Meridianville. Today we close our study on the, the alphabet study that I've called it as we've taken one letter uh, each uh, Tuesday and Thursday and uh, studied a word that had spiritual implications. We went from A to Z, and today we come to the letter Z. And the letter, uh, or the, the word that I've chosen today is the word zillionaire. Zillionaire. You say, well, Brother Tommy, uh, what is a zillionaire? A zillionaire is someone who has more than a trillion dollars. That's as best as I can understand zillionaire. They have more than a trillion dollars. Uh, the closest person to that would be the um, owner of uh, Amazon.com, uh, Jeff Bezos, who is 15% of his way to becoming a trillionaire. He's worth $150 billion. Uh, most Christians, however, today we're going to look at the spiritual implications of that because most Christians don't realize that they themselves are spiritual zillionaires, spiritual zillionaires. And it comes from one verse. Uh, it comes from Romans chapter five, verse one, where God's word says, therefore having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, the, the apostle Paul says we've been justified by faith. That is an accounting term. Um, and what it means is this, that, that God Almighty, uh, once we're saved, God Almighty has declared us righteous based upon what Jesus did on the cross. Uh, it's an accounting term in the sense that uh, because of what Jesus did on the cross, uh, Paul said it in Colossians, I think, that he nailed uh, that debt that we owed uh, to God for all our sins. He nailed it to the cross and canceled out the debt. But to be justified means not only is your sin debt canceled, to be justified also means that God has placed the very righteousness of Jesus Christ in your spiritual bank account so that when God Almighty looks at you, he doesn't simply see a forgiven sinner. He sees the very righteousness of Jesus Christ. That's what it means to be saved. That's what it means to be justified. And that's what it means to be a spiritual zillionaire. And so as we think of that, as we think of how spiritually wealthy we are, I'm going to give you five truths uh, based upon uh, this spiritual fact. And the first truth is this. You are loved. You are loved. Why in the world would God bestow the very righteousness of his son upon you when you were a sinner? Uh, Romans 5, 8 says, but God demonstrates his own love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And so Paul makes it clear that this is a demonstration of the love of God. Romans 5, 8, that God has, that God has forgiven us and that he has placed the very righteousness of Jesus Christ in our spiritual bank account. We often read John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever would believe in him uh, and would not perish, but would have everlasting life. Um, and we often read John 3, 16, but we often don't read 1 John 3, 1, where the apostle John wrote and said, see how great a love the father has bestowed upon us that we should be called children of God and such we are. Uh, I want you to think for a moment about how much you love your children and your grandchildren. And, and then ponder the fact that as much as you love your children and grandchildren, God Almighty loves you more. God Almighty, creator of the universe, loves you with that kind of love. And he loved you so much 
that he not only was willing to forgive your sin based upon what Jesus did on the cross, he was also willing to take the very righteousness of his son and put it in your spiritual bank account. So the first truth is you are loved. The second truth is you are more than, more than forgiven. We all have regrets in our lives. No one probably lives a regret-free life, but you don't have to live with regrets. Why? Because you are more than forgiven. God Almighty, um, because again, because of what Jesus did on the cross, has not only washed your sins away, uh, he has not only washed your worst moments away, but he has placed all the goodness, all the purity, all the love, all the compassion, all the kindness, all the obedience, all the righteousness of Jesus Christ in your spiritual bank account. You are not simply a forgiven sinner with a clean slate. You are a, yes, a forgiven sinner, but you are sitting on a spiritual, a pile of spiritual money bags that is larger than, um, than Mount Everest. They, can, they contain the righteousness of Jesus Christ. You see, you are not only forgiven, but you are seen as righteous. That means that you are, in a sense, more than forgiven. But then it also means, the third truth is, that you are secure. Uh, there is nothing that can empty your spiritual bank account. You have more than enough righteousness for life and eternity. Uh, that's why the Lord Jesus said things like, John chapter 10, verses 27, 28. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give eternal life to them, and they shall never perish, and no one shall snatch them out of my hand. Why would Jesus make such a bold, absolute statement? Because salvation is far more than just a forgiveness transaction. Salvation is a righteousness transaction. That's why Paul said in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, Therefore, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things passed away, new things have come. You are secure. If you have placed your faith in Christ, you are going to heaven, period, exclamation point, end of story. But then the fourth truth is, uh, you can be confident. If someone were to ask you about your faith, it would be perfectly fine to say, I'm a child of God and I'm headed to heaven. Uh, some people feel like it's presumptuous uh, to say that they are children of God and they're going to heaven. Uh, nothing could be further from the truth. Your eternal salvation is a settled fact. And so because it is a settled fact, uh, you can be confident. You are a Christian. You are a child of God. You are going to heaven. And no one can dispute that fact. You can have confidence. But then the truth number five is, there are plenty of riches to go around. The final truth is that your spiritual father, who made you a spiritual zillionaire, has plenty of resources for, it, for anyone who needs them. The righteousness of Jesus Christ is a well that will never run dry. So if you know anyone who needs the forgiveness and riches of Jesus, they are just as available to them as they are to you. I think of people that I went to high school with, William and Jeff and Rocky and Jim and Benny and Alan and another Alan and Mike. I think of all the guys that I grew up with who came to faith in Christ after high school. Um, I'm so very grateful that God's, that the riches of God's grace did not suddenly run out uh, on May the 25th, 1978, when I graduated from high school. I thank you. I, I thank God that, that, uh, that, that fountain that's filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins, that that fountain never ceases to flow 
that God's righteousness and God's forgiveness is a, has a, is a never-ending supply because of what the Lord Jesus did on the cross. And so if you know someone who needs Jesus as their Savior today, I want you to know that God's grace and God's love is completely available to them. I want to thank you for studying with me today as we have gone through God's Word. This Thursday, we'll be back in the Psalms as we study one more psalm from God's Word. God bless you, and thank you for uh, being with me today.